Well, there's a couple of dolphins way out there. But there was one right here where the waves are breaking. One that came in really shallow. Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and Zentasia.com. And you're looking at Siesta Key Beach. Let me see if I can zoom in on those dolphins. Today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone that is in a relationship. And that would mean everyone, because you are in a relationship with your higher self. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Of course, now that I zoomed in, they're not popping off. But there are two dolphins out there somewhere. Not sure where they went. As I mentioned, there was one that came in right here where the waves are breaking. He was in pretty close, or she. So last night I went to bed, I don't know, around 9 o'clock or so, and I woke up at 1.30 again, and it's kind of a repeating pattern of going to bed early and waking up early. And it's always around 1.30. Earlier this morning, I woke up at 1.30 and I was just you know, surfing online, trying to find some videos or you know, checking out my Twitter account, checking out Facebook. And a couple hours go by and I'm still wide awake. So here it is like 3.30 and uh, I make a post on Facebook about how I've been up since 1.30 and I can't fall back asleep and here it is 3.30. Surprisingly, there were so many other people that were also in the same boat who woke up right, right about the same time and were wide awake. So I checked the Schumann resonance and there's been blips here and there in the past 24 hours. But nothing major. I don't know where those dolphins went. I'm just gonna walk down the beach. But we did catch them earlier. So you can go back in this video and see them there. So, as I mentioned, uh, I checked the Schumann Residence and there was nothing on there really major to speak of. So I'm hypothesizing, as with many times that I've noticed in the past two weeks, that there are energy waves that are going through, whether they're uh, solar waves, cosmic ray, rays coming from the Alcyon or the galactic center or the sun. Something's coming through and something is happening that a lot of people are picking up on. so bright out I can hardly read the names but I'll give it a shot good morning good afternoon good evening to Tammy and Annette 
Skyler, Michelle, Natasha, Sandy, Randall Saunders. I'm surprised you're not on the beach, brother. Is that John or Jen? I can't read that one. Too bright. Peggy. Sue. Huh, Peggy Sue. Janice, Jim, Sherry, Linda, Jill. A lot of people are joining me here on this Valentine's Day. Um, looks beautiful out, but as you can see, some people are wearing coats, long sleeve shirts, pants. It's a little chilly right now, but it's gonna warm up into the mid 70s. Water temperature is about 65. And that's gonna be warming up here soon. By May, it'll be in the 80s, so. Just curious if you guys, if you guys have been feeling that, that energy, and if you're having a, or, or if you're finding yourself, finding that you're waking up around 1.30 in the morning or so. Derek says it looks amazing. Yeah, it is. The watercolor is a lot better than what we had when we had Red Tide. Yeah, you can see a pelican out there sitting in the water. They've been diving in. The terns have been diving in for minnows. The minnows are back. It's just the water is really cold. Obviously, nobody is swimming. So Natasha's saying many alternative researching are tracking the crazy geomagnetics right now. They are off the chart. I didn't sleep well either, and that's a good point. You know, there's been a lot of talk about how the magnetic poles are moving very quickly. Uh, the last report I heard was 40 miles in a year, and that's speeding up. So think of the human body along with the magnetics that are going on. You know, you have two ends of a magnet, you know, one that attracts, one that repels. And what if the same thing is going on within our brains? Is this the reason why we see many people becoming unhinged and are just losing it? It's, more so than ever, I'm seeing so many people just going crazy and doing things that just don't make sense. And I would probably venture to say that they're not grounding. So no matter where you are, and no matter what the climate is, whether it's spring, summer, winter, or fall, make sure you're finding the time to get out there and to ground it's so important. <laughs> I love the sound of the waves. It's Monica saying that she woke up at 3.23 a.m. and couldn't go back to sleep. It's 26 degrees where Felicity is. I'm sorry. That's why I moved to Florida. Tommy's saying that she's a night owl and she doesn't go to bed until 2 a.m. anyway, but she had dreams of UFOs last night. Awesome. Hopefully they were 
benevolent. <laughs> My daughter's mother, Bella, is joining us. Yep, and she said, uh, yep, I'm one of the ones who has done some crazy stuff. LOL, I do my grounding work though, and I still do outlandish stuff. <laughs> as long as you're not hurting yourself and others, go for it, right? By the way, Bella, when you see our daughter, have her contact me and uh, give me a date when she wants to come here so I can make arrangements. So for those of you just joining, today is February 14th. It is Valentine's Day and happy Valentine's Day to everyone that's watching, that's tuning in right now. And that goes out to everyone because you are in a relationship with your higher self if you're not in a relationship with a specific partner. So make a special connection with that uh, connection to your higher self. So it's been about three weeks since I've been on this protein diet. And so far, you guys like the shirt? <laughs> so far, well I started at 224 and that was on January 22nd. And right now I'm down to 206, so I've lost 16, is that 24, 16, 18 pounds in about what, a little over three weeks or so. So basically I'm just eating protein. I've cut out wheat and sugar. Um, my goal is 199, so I'm quickly approaching that, which is great. But I think uh, once I hit that, I'm gonna go out and celebrate by doing something probably stupid, eating some food that I really enjoy. <laughs> and then it will take me a few more days to get back down to 199. But from that point forward, I think I'm gonna adjust my goal to 189 and take it from there. Um, so in the past, I've done a diet that works really well. It's a uh, low, saturated fat diet where I, I just keep the saturated fat count down to 10 grams or less and in the past I've lost 30 pounds in three months but right now in less than a month I've already lost 18 pounds so this is working really well now I realize that as you lose more and more fat it becomes more difficult to lose more weight because you know, the only thing that's left is muscle and you're not going to be losing that especially if especially if you're going out and walking and getting exercise. So it's going really well. Um, and to anyone that is on a diet, don't feel bad if you go off the diet for one day and eat some things that you really enjoy. Like for example, I can't, my diet says I can't have sugar or wheat, but maybe one day I'll go out and I'll have pasta with uh, Italian bread and a Jack and Coke. <laughs> Thing is, don't feel guilty about it. Yeah, you won't like what you see the next day on the scale, but don't worry about that. Um, live life, enjoy life, don't punish yourself. If you have a craving for something, once in a blue moon, go for it. Everything within moderation.
So what happened was I spoke on the Waves of Light cruise. I did a workshop there and that was January 17th through the 21st and when I got back home I didn't like what I saw on the scale. <laughs> I weighed 224. I've never weighed that much in my life. So here it is January and you know most of us put on that extra weight during the holiday seasons. But I've never weighed that much in, in my life. So I decided to go on a diet at that point and pretty much stuck to it, except for two times. Two times I've went off it in three weeks for one day just to enjoy a decent meal and not feel guilty about it. So it just goes to show you that you can still lose in my case, 18 pounds in a little over three weeks by going off your diet once every, you know, so often. I, I would recommend once every couple weeks, but it wouldn't be, you know, if you wanted to do it once a week, I'm sure that's fine too. I wouldn't recommend doing it for the entire day just for one meal. <laughs> you know, continue doing whatever it is you're doing, but that one meal, let it go. It's probably a little bit more difficult for women because a lot of women have sugar cravings. Chocolate, ice cream. You know, for me, I've never really been much of a sugar-aholic. Although, at one point, when I was a child and family therapist, I would drive from home to home and I would meet with uh, my clients at their, ho at their house. And, uh, Gosh, at the time I was drinking Mountain Dew and I would bring like an eight pack with me. And sometimes I drink all eight throughout the day. I, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> I was buying the Mountain Dew throwbacks, which had sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. But you know, I've heard reports where <laughs> they say, I don't know how true it is, but they say that Mountain Dew is like one molecule away from being what is it, radiator fluid or antifreeze or something? <laughs> so the thing, probably the things that I miss the most on this diet would be bread. You know, I can't, I can't have a sandwich or a sub. You know, occasionally I do like ice cream. There's a place right down the road, it's called the Orange Octopus where they have homemade ice cream that they serve on waffle cones, and it's, it's delicious, and I love it. But I, even when I wasn't on a diet, I don't, I've, I've only been there maybe three times since you know, I've been here in Siesta Key. So three times in a few years, that's <laughs> not a whole heck of a lot. And the other thing would be having a, a cocktail. I'm not much of a drinker, never have been. Well, I was actually in college. I was, I was in a fraternity, Alpha Theta Gamma. And back then the drinking age was 18, so... <laughs> yeah, I used to drink back then, but... Um, and all throughout my 20s, actually. I'm not gonna lie. But ever since my daughter was born, yeah. And my ex-wife, uh, Bella, can attest. I really haven't been much of a drinker. Or anyone that knows me right now. I have friends that hang out down here on Beach Access 12. And they'll have cocktails, but for the most part, they've rarely ever seen me drink on the beach. But once in a blue moon, I do, so yeah. Once a blue moon, yeah, I will miss that, but also once a blue moon, it's okay to break your diet. So, if, and when that day comes that I decide to do that, it'll probably be Jack Honey and Coke. <laughs> but today I brought water with me. And most of you know what kind of water it is. It's Alkalite 10 pH water. Oh, 
Oh, yeast rolls. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing I like. Um, it's probably horrible. It's probably loaded with a bunch of preservatives. But like, the best mac and cheese, nobody can make it better than Stouffer's. I hate to say it. It's yummy. And I, I honestly didn't even buy that very often. Once in an extremely blue moon. <laughs> Justine is saying, I love to cook and eat. <laughs> you know, and that's a, that's a great point, Justine, too. My mother has dual master's degrees in culinary arts, so a little rubbed off on me. And I love to cook, too. And the point being is when you love to cook, you're putting that energy of love into everything that you make. It's like the secret ingredient. It's probably why homemade chicken noodle soup is the best thing ever if you have a cold because of all the love that's being put into it. So yeah, I, I do too. I, I love to cook. Um, and I love to eat. <laughs> This sounds good. Felicity's saying you can make awesome ice cream with frozen bananas, slice them up, and put them in a good blender with one cup of coconut milk and three bananas. And you can add other fruits too. Oh, yummy. Thing is, I can't eat fruit on my diet because even, even the fruit has sugar. But you know what, if I were having a craving for ice cream and instead, instead of having ice cream, I think that's an awesome idea. Thank you for the suggestion, Felicity. Bella was saying she was just thinking about chicken soup. Well, up in New York, with it being February, now is a great time to do it. I love homemade chicken soup. Some, get some uh, fresh veggies and herbs in there. I mean, gosh, if you make it right, the soup is enough. <laughs> Not to say everything else that's included. Sometimes the, the broth is just absolutely amazing when you make homemade chicken soup. So today for breakfast I had Three eggs over easy. For lunch, I'm having a burger, no bun. Not sure what I'm doing for dinner. Oh, uh, I made chicken last night, baked chicken, so I'll have, with uh, green beans, so I'll have that for leftovers for dinner. So for me, that's easy. That's an easy diet to be on. I still get to eat the stuff I enjoy. And yes, I do eat meat, don't judge. And I'm losing weight. I just posted a few days ago an article on the consciousness of plants and how plants even feel pain when you're biting into them. <laughs> So, I mean, what are you gonna do? It's, it's all an illusion anyway.
It's all about the experience. You know, Felicity, if you want to write an article on really cool recipes like that, I think a lot of people would dig it. I would share that on N5D. I guess one of the things that I miss is uh, when I do make chicken, I like putting uh, breadcrumbs on it and frying it in avocado oil. And whether, whatever, no matter what diet you're on, avocado oil and coconut oil are two of the best oils you can use. You, you can't fry anything on high heat with those. They're both medium chain saturated fat oils, which means have as much as you want because those oils actually burn fat so if you're counting anything don't don't even count you know the carbs or wh whatever is in that oil against your diet see I'm not I, I don't eat avocados but I love avocado oil because you really can't taste the avocado I was reading, Felicity, that you're not supposed to fry anything on high heat with that. I'm not sure if a high boil point is the same as high heat. And maybe what I heard was wrong. Maybe you can boil, uh, use it for fried chicken or whatever. But I'll, I'll put the heat on like medium, low, maybe on a, a stove that goes up to 10. I might put it on four or five. And it cooks just fine in that. What I end up doing is the leftover oil, I'll pour it right on top of the chicken and basically dunk my chicken in it so I do get all the oil that I put in there. Sammy's saying you can use pork rinds for breading instead. I, I, the thing is, I don't like pork rinds. Tris is asking if I drink coffee. I don't. But she's saying to put unsalted butter and heavy whipped cream in it. That's interesting. You know, I know people that put honey and coconut oil in their coffee. Yeah, I've never been a coffee drinker in my entire life. I might have had 20 cups of coffee, <laughs> if that. French fried onions instead of breading. Hmm, that's a good idea, Bella. 
I'm loving all this, uh, all the tips on, on cooking. I was hoping our dolphin friends would come back out again, but you know, just talking to people here and apparently the dolphins are out every day swimming up and down the beach. Uh, the, do the dolphin is uh, yet yeah, another sign of transformation. And if you think about it, they are mammals and they, they live going in and out of worlds. The world of water and the world of air. <laughs> yes, while you listen to the ocean. So I'm not sure what kind of energy is going on right now. I know that a lot of us are picking it up. I know that with the high pitch frequencies, today is a G sharp, and that goes between the throat chakra and the crown chakra. So if you're feeling activity there, um, in either place, you'll uh, you'll know it. Your body will will tell you. So, hey Raymond. Also, with these energies that are coming in, as I mentioned, I'm not sure where they're coming from specifically, but many of us are feeling them. So, go with the flow. Make sure you get out and ground. Because as I mentioned, with this magnetic pole shift that we're currently going through right now, with the poles moving at last report 40 miles in a year, which is considerate, it could do a lot to people's brain activity and you'll probably start seeing even more people lose it which makes it even more important to get out and find the time to ground and to meditate if you're in a colder climate and really can't get out try getting some grounding rocks like obsidian or black tourmaline or shungite something like that hold it in your hand while you're meditating so I'm gonna leave it off at that I'm still plugging away with everything on n5 DTV I have a another thing that I'm not gonna announce just yet but um, stay tuned for that a little surprise so until the next time I'm sending you all infinite love and light this is Greg Coming to you from beautiful Siesta Key Beach in sunny Florida. Send you all infinite love and light. Peace.